Hello, I'm Rob Adaway, the formerly student clerk of the course uh, for this year and I have been for a number of years previous. Some of you may know of me either by talking to me or seeing me at other formerly student events. So unlike other events, uh, driver's briefings this year are, are by me recording the uh, briefings so that you may uh, watch them and you cannot complete your registration until you have watched all of the driver's briefings. Without completing registration, you won't be issued with your accreditation or wristband. And without your wristband, you won't be able to drive. So no briefing, no wristband, no drive. So this briefing, there are three in this series, and this is the first one. Uh, this briefing is about events, generally about event safety. And we have uh, just some very uh, um, noted points that I'm gonna go through in this short briefing. When you register, um, uh, when you come to the event, you'll get a welcome pack in which there will be a handbook for you as a live event attendee. And within that handbook, there will be uh, several uh, very valued pieces of information and also a venue map, a venue, menu plan, uh, a venue plan which you should take uh, great care to look at and uh, note what's on there. And it will tell you things where all of the dynamic uh, tests are in the scrutineering areas, things like uh, scrutineering. It will show you where fuel, tilt and noise tests are. It will show you the next test after that, which is brake test and engine test area. It will also show you where the practice area is. And because of limitations with the circuit uh, for this, uh, this event, Practice area on Friday is, is very close to the brake test area, but on Saturday and Sunday, that practice area will move away from that Friday area and will be in a different place and will be notionally in the area known as Brooklyn's Corner. Sit within this handbook, there are other items that uh, is almost a uh, a very informed piece of uh, a document for you. So if you have any questions before you start asking uh, any official or anybody, maybe look at the handbook first, and that's likely to give you the answers you require. Like for argument's sake, where is welding and the hot works area? It will tell you that is not in the pit area, but it will give you a garage and or an area in the scrutineering bay where welding can take place. Similarly, if you have a, a use of a first aid person and the medical centre, it will show you and tell you where you can get help for that. So please familiarise yourself with the handbook and the venue map that are included in part of this. As with all motorsports uh, events in the UK, a uh, formula student is no different and it is run under a permit issued by Motorsports UK and you can see there on the screen that there is uh, for, for 2021 there is a permit number and as an organisation uh, formula student are running to the rules within that uh, cover book book called Motorsport UK Yearbook 2021. I have a copy of that. It's about a about 30 millimetres thick. So if it, if it likes a bit of light reading, they can borrow it. Drones. Silverstone is a licensed civil aviation authority airfield for helicopters. And as such, drones are not permitted. So if we see a drone, I have somebody in a cupboard somewhere that can help getting rid of drones, which is my man with a gun. 
I have a license for that gun, or he has a license. So in essence, drones are not permitted. Man with gun will help me get rid of drones. So drones are not allowed. One of the danger areas of, of motorsport events are paddocks and the roads um, within Formula Student, that is no different. And so I'm urging you to just take note of this, uh, this slide, uh, which is uh, man walking, which is permitted. Person running, not permitted because one can fall over. So, Walking, thumbs up, green man. Running, thumbs down, red thumb, no good. So please just walk where you're going. The other thing I think you should be aware of when you're walking around is avoid um, sort of cables that may be uh, draped across uh, garage pit floors. Also, uh, no riding of bicycles or skateboards or electric uh, uh, scooters or bicycles. So uh, it's really walking or sitting. Thank you. So Formula Student, uh, within this, uh, the, 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 the handbook, there is a clothing guide. And what that's indicating to you is that, yes, on a nice sunny day, which we do have sometimes at Formula Student, the temptation is to put uh, sleeveless shirts on, maybe some shorts, and maybe some light shoes or, or flip-flops or something to cover your feet. However, when you're working near or close to uh, your car, it's advisable to have your legs and arms covered and to wear shoes that to avoid you becoming um, injured through uh, foot, um, uh, foot injuries and other cuts and uh, grazes and scalds on your arms and legs.